This is the way that silk is made. Silk is made. Silk is made. This is the way that silk is made. By the little silkworm, a lady moth will lay her eggs. The farmer takes away her eggs. The farmer takes away her eggs and puts them into storage. The farmer takes away her eggs and puts them into storage. In the spring, the eggs are hatched. This is the time when all they do is eat and grow the whole day through. Munch and crunch, and while they chew, they keep a growing bigger. One day when they are kind of big and through with eating like a pig, they look around to find a twig to fasten their cocoons to. The farmer knows just what it means. He rushes racks upon the sea. No worm will lack a bit of rack to fasten its cocoon to. Now they begin to spin cocoons, and here is how they do it. From the upper lip there comes a gluey, gooey fluid. As the fluid hits the air to silk and thread, it hardens. They spin and wind the silk. They spin round. This is the way cocoons are spun, and after the cocoons are done, the processing is then begun to make them into raw silk. The cocoons are sorted for color and soaked in water to soften the gum that holds them together. Then the cocoons are unwound, and strands of several of them are joined together to form a thread. These threads are processed. And combine to make stronger threads that may be woven into a variety of silk products, such as satin, crepe, velvet, and brocade. This is the way that silk is made, silk or satin or brocade. This is the way that silk is made by the little silkworm. <laughs>